Hi, I am Dhananjay Kumar from debugmode.net. In this video, we are going to learn about the automapper. Let us start with understanding why we need automapper. So you got a problem statement that you got a class X, you got class Y. And you need to create instance of class Y using instance of class X. Let us see how we do that without using automapper. Here I got two classes, product entity, which got two properties, name and price, and another class, product, which also got two properties, name and price. Now I got one instance of type product entity. Now we have a requirement of create instance of class X using instance of class Y. So in this scenario, we want to create instance of product using instance of product entity, which is E. Let us go and create instance of product and we can create that as product P equal to new product and then what you do you can set its properties using instance of product entity which is E in this scenario you can say E dot name and then price E dot price and here you go this is usually uh, how we create instance of one class using instance of another class you can go ahead and print some value to see that whether uh, we are doing it correctly or not I can say p dot name and then console dot read key true such that we can see screen console window let us go and run this now and here I got the uh, got pane as a output so this is usually we follow to create instance of one class using instance of another class. This is the simplest approach you can follow to create instance of one class using instance of another class. Now there is a problem in this approach. Let us say you are working with a class which got uh, uh, too many properties. Then you have to manually set all those properties value while creating instance. In this scenario we are working with class which is having only two properties then it is easy to set it manually but imagine that if you are uh, having more than 15 properties in a class then it may be a tough and tedious task to set all those values manually so here auto mapper comes to picture let us see how auto mapper can create instance of one class using instance of another class and how that can help us in our development Next, let us add auto mapper in the project, and we can add that using view and then other windows. And then we'll open package manager console. And here we'll say clear the screen and say install package auto mapper. It should add auto mapper in the project. Here you see auto mapper is successfully added to the project. Now let us go ahead and add namespace auto mapper and after that what I have done I have commented this line we don't want to create instance or product uh, by following this approach we want to use auto mapper so first we need to create the mapping and you can create mapping using mapper dot create map and inside that you have to pass source and destination source type and destination type in this scenario source type is product entity which is here so we'll say product entity and then target type is product so let us pass product here great so here we have created a mapping uh, mapping in between product entity and product after that to create instance or product what you need to do will say product P equal to mapper dot map and here you need to pass target type which is product in this scenario and then as a parameter you need to pass instance of your source type you want to use to create instance of target type and we'll pass E here so this is done auto mapper will now create instance of product using instance of product entity here so let us go ahead and run this application and here you get the desired output so to summarize what I have done I uh, added reference of auto mapper into the project then added namespace over here 
then what I'm doing I'm creating the mapping and passing target type and source type this is your source this is your destination type or target type and then using mapper.map we are creating instance so let us come back to our problem statement we had to create instance of class y using instance of class x to do that first we need to create map using mapper.createMap and here you need to pass your source class which is in this scenario x and then target class which is in this scenario y and once you have done that next you can create instance of y and passing y here and then this E is instance of type X so this is uh, very simple to create one instance of a, of a class using instance of another class using auto mapper now let us consider second scenario that you need to create list of class X from list of class Y and how auto mapper help you in that so let us consider I got a list of product entity here and I need to create list of product uh, using LST let us call it as product entity great so how we can do that usually we say where we'll go and say where LST product equal to LST product entity dot select and in this select what we'll do we'll pass some parameter x and here we can say new product and this is the way we create instance using select a statement so let us come here x new product and inside this again we have to manually map all the properties and which can be mapped as name equal to x dot name and price equal to x dot price again the same problem we are facing here that if number of properties are uh, are large then uh, manually mapping each properties may be a tedious task so this is this is the way you create a you know list of one class using list of another class and we can go and print each value for each where r in lst product and let us say we want to print all the product name which we can do that very easily console dot right line and here we can say r dot name this is good what I'm going to do I'm going to comment this line of code we don't need that let us see how it works and th this should work and here we are getting all product name what I have done I use select a statement and inside that manually I'm mapping each properties to create uh, instance of another class let us see how we can use auto mapper here so first we need to create again mapping which I can uncomment this code and put it here so here I have created uh, that mapping and then we can replace this line of code with mapper.map and this one and here we can put that and this should be x so this is the way you can use auto mapper to in creating list of products now if you go and run it it should run and get the output so again here we are not manually mapping uh, each properties of source class type and the target class type so this is how you can uh, work with auto mapper in your development in any kind of application we're creating uh, using dotnet and uh, this could be very simple to use and uh, and can speed up your productivity I hope you find this video useful don't forget to uh, follow my blog which is debugmode.net and you can follow me on Twitter as well my Twitter handle is debug underscore mode thank you and looking forward to see you in next video